Well, you know, excited to be in the excited to be in the uh, in the tournament. Our guys were excited. It's always good to see your name on the screen. We've got a huge um, challenge in front of us. I've actually watched St. Bonaventure play a couple times this year. They've got a um, you know they've got a, a top top forty offense, top twenty defense, or seventeenth in the country in, in defensive efficiency and defense. And they've got some good guard play. They got a great shot blocker, big six ten kid down there. They got a good small ball four. Um, good point guard, good shooting guard, Lofton. So they've, they've got a they've got a very good team. Coach Schmidt, I'm familiar with them from, from the Atlantic Ten. He's as good a good a ball coach as there is out there uh, in the in the country. So it'll be a big big challenge for us, but we're uh, we're excited and, and looking forward to getting to Indianapolis tomorrow morning and um, getting ready to go. I do think a big big point is just as, as much energy as we've expended the last three days to be able to play on on Saturday. Um, is, is, is a big deal. I was worried about a Friday turnaround. Just we're not getting there till tomorrow. We'd had to sit in the hotel a couple of days, probably wouldn't be able to practice till midday Wednesday and then practice Thursday and play Friday would have been a little bit tougher. So I am pleased that we, that we, uh, that we play on Saturday, give us a little bit more time to, uh, to, to recover. Hey, Will, you know, I know you're big on, you know, net rankings and following stuff like that throughout the whole season. I guess just were you at all surprised by the, the eight seed ranking? I know you guys probably don't want to make excuses or anything, but just was that kind of surprising to you at all that you guys were, you know, given the eight seed? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was surprised. I thought we'd be a little bit better than that. But at the end of the day, we lost to St. Louis and we lost to Texas Tech in the non-conference. We, we didn't have a lot of meat on the bone in the non-conference because of the um, – you know, because of COVID and because, you know, just because of the way everything shook out. So we just didn't have, we didn't have, um, you know, we didn't have the non-conference uh, profile that we needed. I think we were the top eight seed, you know, we were, we were, we were right there to get a seven. And I've said this, you know, the conference tournaments don't matter. That, 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 that thing was done. Our seed was set on probably Friday night um, and, and, and didn't move a lot um, from there. But look, I mean, look, we're in the deal. That's the number one thing, and and uh, we gotta we gotta get ready for uh, get ready for Bonaventure. Any other questions? Hey, Will, uh, what's the preparation gonna look like for you guys over this week leading up? Uh, you mentioned the rest rest and recovery after the game. Have you guys looked ahead like that? Yeah, I was kind of waiting to see when we play. You know, we're gonna we're gonna leave out of here early tomorrow morning. We're still in Nashville. Alabama just left. Um, they were going up tonight. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow morning. Leave out first thing in the morning. We're gonna leave about 7:30 in the morning. It's about four and a half hour ride. We talked to Missouri today, who made it. Missouri and Arkansas and Alabama and um, Florida. They all they were all in our hotel. They all stayed and they they bust up today, but. Um, we're going to bus up there and go through the testing protocols. From what I understand, we're going to be in our rooms for a couple couple days. You know, based on our math, we'll be able to practice or, or have a workout on, on Wednesday afternoon, probably just knock some rust off, do some shooting, work on ourselves a little bit. Then Thursday and Friday, start our normal two-day prep for, uh, for, for Bonaventure and, and get, ready to, uh, get, ready to play on, uh, get ready to play on Saturday. So uh, obviously you can do some, some, a lot of film study and that sort of thing, right? If, if y'all can't get on the court, would that, would that be a, even more so than usual? Yeah, probably. I mean, I, you know, we'll, we'll be in our room so I can, I can watch film. I can clip things and send it to our players on their phones. We have a system that they can get it on their iPads and computers and things like that. So, I mean, we'll, uh, we'll be as active, uh, we'll be as active as we can, but you know, you gotta, you gotta do a crash course to familiarize yourself with the new opponent. Uh, very, very, uh, very, very quickly. And so that's what, um, that's what we'll do. Try to get our guys as prepared as possible. But, you know, right now we need to, you know, spend a mental grind the last three days where our guys need a little bit of a break and uh, we're going to take, we're going to take tonight. We're going to relax a little bit and we'll get ready. Uh, you know, we'll start working on them tomorrow as we get on the bus up there. And then, you know, we've got two days to sit around and do nothing but watch film. So we'll, we'll, we'll figure something out. It's, it's uh not necessarily meaning anything, but I guess you've, you've been up there at St. Bonnie. It's a small school in Western New York, great. right? It's a great place, man. They've got, 
Bonaventure, I don't know if y'all have ever been, I mean, most people haven't been there. OAN New York's not on a lot of people's um, bucket list. But I mean, I'm telling you, their fan support, their gym, it is, uh, it's electric in there. And uh, it's a really, really small Catholic school. I think it's one of the five smallest schools that plays Division One basketball. Um, and uh, Mark, Sch I think they got like 1,500 total students. But Mark Schmidt has done a phenomenal, um, phenomenal, phenomenal job there. And um, they are they are really really good. And the the Riley Center up there, I mean, it is it is it is rocking. The students are on top of you. It's a hell of a venue now. They got great fans. Um, they've had great teams. They've always were, they were always at the top of the um, at the top of the Atlantic Ten. And uh, I mean, um, it's a shame, you know, this year with the with not having fans. If they'd have played the um, A-10 championship with VCU and, and Bonaventure. I mean, they could have sold out of most arenas. They could have sold out the Barclays Center or, or in Dayton because um, just two, two really, really passionate fan bases. So it's a, it's a, um, it's a unique, uh, unique school. There's, when you go there, there's no full service hotel. Um, Coach Schmidt was actually, he's a member at the Olean Country Club. So you actually can eat a meal there, but you got to kind of drop his name to go in there and eat the meal. But you eat your team meal at the – we ate our last team meal when I was at VCU up at the country club. So it's a unique place, and I have a lot of respect for, you know, just how good they are. They are, they are ferocious uh, competitors. They're going to be unbelievably well-prepared. Their staff has great continuity, and they're a, they're a tremendous, tremendous basketball program. Hey, Coach, at least uh, two of your prominent players and Javante and Darius uh, have NCAA experience, Sweet 16 experience. Uh, how much does that matter uh, moving forward at this point? I think we all got some valuable tournament experience this weekend. You know, playing in tournament basketball is playing tournament basketball. Um, so I think I think we all got some valuable experience. Certainly we'll lean on Darius, we'll lean on Javante, who were here a couple of years ago and have, have, have that, uh, have that experience under their belt as well. But, um, you know, we, we, that's why part of the reason it was so important to advance this weekend was to get some guys, some, some positive experiences. Eric Gaines has now had some positive experiences in a tournament. Andre Hyatt had a good, did a good job today. He's had some positive experiences. The big four have now played in tournament, tournament style basketball. So we've got some guys now that have some, have some sea legs under them and are, and are, um, and, and are going to be in a, in a, in a good position to, um, to really, uh, you know, to, to hopefully help us here as we try to navigate through this thing. If I could follow up on something you just talked about. I think today's result had much to do with anything. Okay. Thanks. Anything else for Will? Okay. Thank you, Will. All right, guys. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Good luck. Thank you.